Yugo tanks and Yankee tanks. As a footplateman, you either love them or you hate them. I love them and enjoy the challenge of getting the best out of myself and the machine. It's full in the face stuff, very hot and cramped. The art is keeping that big five ox oven door closed as much as possible. This Yugo tank originated in Yugoslavia, hence the short name. She is a clone of the American Yankee tank, built as late as 1964. She was brought from Story Steelworks in what is now Slovenia. For the latest chapter in her life, hauling passenger trains on the Swanage Railway. Here she waits patiently at Harmon's Cross Station for the standard tank to pass by. This story starts three years earlier in 1990 in Slovenia at the top of Yugoslavia. The loco had been steamed up specially for me to try out and pulling 500 tonnes of scrap steel in wagons in storage main yard assured me she was steam tight and a good investment. It's all smiles from me as we return from the interchange yard. She would now be stripped down to fit into containers and road hauled back to the UK where restoration and conversion would begin in earnest to what you see now working on the Swanage Railway. She would be a Yugo replica of the much famed Yankee tank which used to work on the southern region of our national railways in the steam era, three of which are preserved in the UK thankfully. Three years later, and here she is, stepping out from Corf on her way up to Harmon's Cross. What's it like in the cab of a Yugo tank working a train? Well here we are. As you can see, it's all a bit rock and roll here in the cab. But that's the beauty of them, due to their short wheelbase so they could work round sharp corners.
This is music to my ears. A great little Yugo tank. <laughs> 